どちらまで行かれますかそうですかまたよろしくお願いしますいらっしゃいませ。Who's hungry? Me. Tasty. ありがとうございました。Mizuki-san, their time is up. Okay, go ahead and clean up the room, then count today's take. Front desk. The faucet's stuck? Well, just use the same bath water for the next customer. Yeah, I know it's dirty. Just use a bath bomb. They're behind the sink. Make it cloudy enough, who'll notice? Hello, this is Otohime Land. Oh, Nanaha-chan. Hmm. Oh, really? So you're taking the day off. But didn't you have your period two weeks ago? You're missing too much work. And if your excuses are true, you should get that checked out. I mean, it sounds like a serious medical issue. And if it keeps you out of work, how are you going to pay for your dear old dad's care, huh? Seems like your life would be easier if he just died already. But I guess that's out of your control. Are you crying? 
Oh, come on. I only say these things because I'm your boss. I can't be your therapist, too. But come back in as soon as you feel better, okay? Bye. <sighs> I tell you, girls these days. So, you folks are here about the job we posted, I assume? Sorry. I don't think I want to be employed here. Ditto. Not a fan of anything I just heard. You out too, Kasuga? <sighs> so, you came all the way here just to insult me in my place of business? I'll have you know, Hello Work practically begged me to hire you three. They told me you'd be willing to do anything. I don't care what they told you. We've still got principles. Yeah, I'm grateful that Kanbei put in a good word, but uh, I pass. Plenty of other jobs out there. Let's go, Ichiban. Ichiban, what's the holdup? Come on, let's go. <sighs> you heard him on the phone, didn't you? I've been to my share of back alley soap lands, but this guy's got to be the worst I've ever seen. The girls don't deserve that kind of treatment. Huh. Hey, there a problem? You better not cause any trouble here. I'll call the Yakuza. We're with the Seiryu clan, you know? The Seiryu clan? You really sure you want to start something? <laughs> this is Seiryu clan territory? Well, this just got complicated. <sighs> hey, Kasuga, we need a scram. Well, uh, well, why Come are you on. looking at me like that? I'll call them. I will. Uh, uh. I'll take the job. I'll start any time you want, boss. Huh? Wait, wait, what are you doing? Based on what I just heard, you got a lot of issues here, from plumbing to personnel. You need a hand, and I've got 16 years of direct experience in this industry. I know what works in these places, and I can even go scout some fresh talent for you. What do you say? Y yeah, but what about those two? <sighs> Prostitution's gotta go! No more Ichi Cho! Listen. Well, damn. Right.
Okay. Yep. Hey. Sup? Yo. Hey. What? Yo! True. No. Yo! <laughs> hey. 
What's that? Yes. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hold on. See you later. Okay. Damn, it's full. Hey, look over there. That's Nanoha. Let's get some answers out of her. 
I seriously doubt she'd ever admit to it. We should only interrogate her after we have proof. I say we trust the former detective on this one. Fine. Sorry, we're full right now. Oh, I'm meeting someone inside. He's sitting down with Nanoha. Maybe she's dating him on the side. Could be. Let's try an eavesdrop on their conversation. How do we do that? I can't hear anything out here. I got this. Kasuga, call me on your phone. Okay. I'm very sorry, but we're full right now. Oh, please, can I just use the bathroom? Oh, seriously, man, I'm about to piss myself. Uh, sure. Go ahead. Sorry you had to come all the way out here. Gotta be her other man. Hold your horses and see the transaction go down. Somehow I have two million yen. Huh? Huh? Three million left to go then. If you ten days from now, we can carry out the procedure. What? Maybe we don't need to don't tell me your father deserves to be at peace you said it yourself after all this time don't you want that for him no please I don't want dad to have peace but does it have to be that's true but you shouldn't cheap out after all don't you see the That's what you're paying us for. Oh, okay. It's just my father's... Oh? <laughs> First timer, huh? Him money. And it was two million. Nothing to sneeze at. You think Nano Hassan's wrapped up in something bad? Like what? I don't know. We just have to ask her and find out. Oh, hey! Ow! Uh, uh, sorry. Hey, old man! Apologies don't fix much, you know. Yeah, how are you gonna make this right? He's got a broken bone. Come on, not this shit. Sorry, we're in a hurry. If you don't got time to do the right thing, get out your wallet and hand us a couple grand. Leave us alone, man. See ya. Not so fast! Battle is on! Okay. You're in it now! I'm in the oh, okay. you're a cocky. Watch this! Let's go! Yeah! Get serious! Take 
Yo! Yeah. Social Welfare Corporation? Sounds like an old folks home. Pretty classy building, huh? It's from the Meiji era, as I recall. It used to be a bank. But I thought some non-profit foundation bought it decades ago. Sure looks luxurious for a non-profit. I can smell the money from out here. Okay, so... We know Nano has been working at the Soapland to pay for her dad's care, right? Yeah, so maybe this is where he's being taken care of. And also, maybe that man she met at the cafe is employed here. Well, then it would all make sense. She's paying that guy to keep her dad in a nice place. That's hardly shady. I don't care how classy the joint is. Nobody would pay two mil in cash. Plus, why would she pay her dad's rent at a cafe? Yeah, that's a good point. Remember what they said when we eavesdropped? She begged to see her dad, and it didn't move him at all. He just said no. Yes, this is the front desk of Sunlight Castle. Uh, is there a man living here with a daughter named Nanoha? 
Do you mean Nanoha Mukoda? Yes, her father is a resident here. How may I help you? We work with Nanoha at the same place of business. Can we come in? I'm sorry, but only family are allowed to visit. That was predictable. We're not here to see him, actually. The truth is, I'm looking for a home for my own father. Nanoha-san said your facility is great, so I wanted to check it out. I'm terribly sorry. You can't come inside unless accompanied by a current lessee. Really? Yes. If you wish to explore the layouts of our rooms, please visit our homepage online. You can submit questions on that page as well. It's very convenient. Goodbye. They don't even let you tour a room? Something's definitely shady about this place. Please take one. Huh? Hey, what you got there? Who knows? An ad for a sex shop or something. <laughs> Nothing a couple of penniless mooks like us need to worry about. Oh, 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 oh. Hold the phone. It says the first person to call gets free service. What? That sounds way too good to be true. They'll find some way to squeeze money out of you, I guarantee. Yeah, well, uh, we won't know until we call. Take it from the guy born out of soap land. It's a scam. Hey now, things might have changed while you were locked up. Give it here. Yo, hold on! First person to call! Ha <laughs> ha, you snooze, you lose. Hello, how can I help you? Yeah, hi. Uh, saw your ad. Said something about the first caller being free. Oh, yes! Thank you! You are the very first, so this one is indeed on us. <laughs> all right! And, uh, <clears throat> you're, you're sure it won't cost anything? Nope, nothing at all. Now may I please have your name and current location? Oh, right. It's uh, Koichi Adachi, and right now I'm kind of near Ohama Street. Oh, and that place can be quite dangerous, too. Understood. I'll send over our most popular employee right away. Your most popular? <laughs> oh, you guys really go all out with this first free collar thing, huh? We want you to know how great we are. Now then, we have them en route to your location. Huh? What, you're sending someone to me? Like not a hotel or something? Wait, is this one of those meet-up deals? So, how'd it go? <laughs> Get this. They're sending their most popular girl over here. For free. Whoa, really? No, oh, really, I swear. Look, sex shops will do anything to stay competitive. They said she'd be here soon. Sorry for the wait. Huh? <laughs> oh, 
Oh! What the? Who the heck are you? Are you, uh, Adaki-sama? Uh, yeah, that's me. Sorry for the wait. I'm Gary Buster Holmes from Poundmates. Poundmates? Is, is that a sex shop? <laughs> no, no. Poundmates sends people to help you fight. Help us fight? Hey, you shitheads are making way too much noise. That's it. I'm gonna shut you guys up. Oh, a handy group of punks. Just in time for your first call. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but let's go, Kasuga. Yeah. the finish. Sudden death or suds on breasts? What's it gonna be? <laughs> We're sorry! Your free trial is over. Next time will cost money. Looking forward to it. Yeah, sure. Okay then. Goodbye. hell just happened here? Fuck if I know. Man, why's it gotta be so hard to get laid? Houndmates, huh? Well, it ain't free, and I'm not sure it's sexy, but I think I can see the appeal. charge 5 million yen just to start a lease? And then it's 500k every month? Even on Soapland wages, how the hell can she afford that? And take a look at this. They've got a program called the Excellent Course. <laughs> Entry fee 20 million? Then a million a month? What in the actual fuck? Yeah, I hope that's one good VIP room. Mm. Don't tell me her dad's enrolled in the excellent course. I can't imagine he is. Oh, <laughs> I could see Nanoha signing him up for the most expensive option. She'd totally do that. Her father is the only family she has. He's the reason she got a job at a big corporation. And he's the reason she works for me now. He raised her all by himself. He means everything to her. It doesn't surprise me at all that she'd pay any price to keep him comfortable. I mean, I knew she put him somewhere expensive, but this is just crazy. No matter how much you love someone, you've got to set some boundaries. 
I'm starting to think this was never about a guy she was dating. You wanted us to investigate her because you were worried about her. Am I right? Yes, I was worried. I worry about all my employees. But once they clock out, I can't help them. And I hate that. Especially the girls who have such troubled pasts. You never know if they're doing okay or not. That's why I'm strict about how much time they take off. I worry. So you have a good reason to keep them working so much. And here I thought you were just a huge asshole. I guess you can stop your investigation now. She might be putting herself in danger, but if she's doing it for her dad, I really have no right to interfere. It's her life. In any case, I don't think she's seeing anyone on the side. No? I mean, when we saw her today, she looked miserable. She was definitely telling you the truth when she said she wasn't feeling good. My guess is she's suffering from a ton of stress. From work? Oh, I think it's something else. Nanoha is her father's guarantor. I'm sure of that. It doesn't make any sense that she wouldn't be allowed to see him. And you guys saw her pay two million to a rep from the home? Maybe that wasn't the entire bill. Maybe she still owes them money. And until she pays, they won't let her see her dad. That's fucked up! Yeah, but it might be true. Nationwide, more than one out of every five people is elderly. And there are lots of crooked businesses trying to cash in on that. Even if an establishment looks legit on the surface, you never know what might be lurking underneath. I think I know what happened. They accepted her dad, told her she could pay the entry fee in installments, and then once he moved in, they wouldn't let her see him until she paid it off in full. Why pull that shit? Just to get her to pay it off quicker. They don't care what she has to do to earn it. They just want their money as soon as possible. That's just... so cruel. Plenty of bastards in the world who do it without a second thought. No wonder her health is bad. Who could deal with that kind of pressure? And by taking time off, she'll lose income. She'll end up being late on her payments. Damn. At that rate, she'll never get to see her dad. Nope. And there's another thing that could happen that's even worse. What's that? And depending on what the contract says, if she misses a payment, they could kick her dad out and not return any of her money. After she's been working herself to the bone just to pay them? And honestly, who the hell knows if they're really providing good care in that place? Hardly anyone's allowed inside, so there's no oversight. That sounds to me like they can do whatever they damn well please. Even to the residents who are paid up. I don't understand how they get away with this shit. Please! None of us needs to understand it! All that matters is saving Nanoha's dad! Boss, we can't save him. There's no way. Sure, we all want to, but... I mean, they won't even let the guy's own daughter in. The place is pretty much on lockdown. I just don't see a way around that. I think I see a way around it. What? Boss, you okay with us working a second job? Uh, huh? The three of us could work at Sunlight Castle for a bit. You want to infiltrate the place by getting jobs there? How do we get them to hire us? Well, we're sort of buddies with that guy Kambe over at Hello Work. Let's get him to help us. Yes! It's a great idea. I'll call Kanbe and make it happen. I think we can do this! We can save Nanoha's father! <laughs>